the past few years, many EU countries have seen a growth in neo-Nazism. In Germany, more and more young people are joining the groups. Some point to poor economic conditions. Others say immigration policies are to blame. Igor Piskunov now reports on what's driving youngsters along a dangerous path. A quiet town, disturbed. A small community, divided. It began with the appearance of Nazi symbols. Then the local social center was burned to the ground. Jörg Vanke, whose own office was also vandalized, says for him the final straw was when neo-Nazis marched through the town's main square. I used to be afraid, but it helps not to act alone, to have supporters. I became a public person with our initiative, and it's sort of my protection. The anti-Nazi initiative is actively supported by around 50 locals. Many are retired and armed with posters. They stand up to those who are often much younger and looking not too friendly. Like this young man, who openly calls himself a neo-Nazi and admits encouraging a teenager to set the social center on fire. He now faces up to two years behind bars. We won't let neo-Nazis rule here. Yet not all locals agree. The initiative is often criticized. The neo-Nazi party even gained 3% of votes at the most recent local parliament election. The incident split our town. Some say we're exaggerating and are only making things worse by attracting too much attention. But I think they're simply afraid. Activists say it's easy for neo-Nazis to recruit new members, especially among disillusioned and dejected teenagers. With poor infrastructure and high unemployment and few social escapes which the town can offer, it's often simply boredom driving them to extremes. With a population of just around 6,000 people, Zossen is a typical small German town far away from large industries and financial centers. Life here is calm and peaceful, or at least it used to be before 2009. Mr. Vanke and the other activists do say they're not going to back down until life returns back to normal. But unfortunately, the problem with neo-Nazism in Germany exists on a much wider scale. Thousands of neo-Nazis gather for annual marches in Dresden, often clashing with police and anti-fascist activists. And in November, German authorities caught two suspects, believed to be members of a neo-Nazi terror cell that had escaped them for years and were involved in killing at least 10 foreigners. But analysts say boredom's no excuse. It's money struggles which are igniting the trouble. Of course, economic unrest causes unrest in families conflicts in fam families, and if they are not solved, we have a kind of rage. But now the rage was, you know, escalated by racist agitation. Germany's eye may be on spending billions to pull the Eurozone out of its crisis, but ignoring economic trouble at home could be at its peril. If left unchecked, it may not be too long before a disenfranchised youth drags the entire country towards some of the biggest mistakes of its past. Igor Piskunov, RT, Germany.